second part of the Dark Souls boss tier list. As you've noticed, the aspect ratio should be a lot better, and there isn't as much junk on the screen. That is because I went into presentation mode. The reason I didn't do this the first time is because I didn't know what it did. <laughs> so, if you thought it looked ugly, uh, it's going to look better this time. The We did have the whole video recorded before, but it all got corrupted. So, we're starting from here again, which is semi a good thing, because I do remember where I had everyone, and I also have a screenshot where I had everyone. Okay, yeah, see, um, they start off with Aldrich, um, that's a, that's a D. I'd put him in F, but I don't feel like making an F tier. Yeah, Aldrich's theme is not great. Aldrich's theme, I had heard it, like, three times yesterday, and it's very forgettable, like him. <laughs> Like his lore is cool. That's kind of all he has going. He has that one shot attack with the arrows. That's like, yeah. His theme isn't. It's not hype. It's it's not like, oh, this is scary. It's like, eh. <laughs> it's a soul's bluff. Abyss Watchers. I think I put them in B. Their theme is okay. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's alright. Crystal Sage. Crystal Sage's theme kind of gets turnt when you hit the second phase. Oh! The only reason I think most people don't remember it is because it's the Crystal Sage. I don't know what I was on. I would not have put him that high over the other two. I'm sorry. Please don't kill me. That's really why they messed them up. If it was, if that was any other boss, it would have been fine. If that was on any other boss in the game, like if if the Crystal Sage and Eldritch flip themes. I think it would be a hundred times better, but because it's the Crystal Sage, who isn't a hard boss in general, most people don't remember his theme because they kill him too fast. But yeah, the Crystal Sage's theme is actually pretty good. Uh, Curse Rotwood. Nah. Nah. It's... The second phase is better than the first phase theme, but it's not... It's not great. I wouldn't say I love it. Um, answer the Boreal Valley. I'm doing these not off the pictures that I have from last time, but I'm doing it like from now. The dancers theme, it. I kind of want to move it up to B, but it's like not really. It's not like a hard, a, a head throbbing thrasher, like you know what I'm saying? It's, it's meant to capture the fact that she's like elegant. And her movements and all that, and I get that from a character design standpoint, but it's just not my favorite theme. That's fair. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. I think that's right. I think that's right. Uh, Dark Eater Madeer, S tier. S tier. Dark Eater Madeer, his first theme is a banger. His first theme is you walk in and it's like, oh shit, that's a dragon. You know, and it takes you back because it just starts. It's like Half Light. Half-Light's theme starts slow. Gale's theme starts semi-slow. Dark Eater Madeer's theme cuts on. <laughs> it gets active. The second he is on the screen and his music starts playing after he roars, you know, oh, I'm, I'm in some shit. And you hit his second phase, and his second phase isn't bad either, but I don't remember it like that. So... His second phase is... It's the same reason... It's Gale's but reversed, and he doesn't have three themes to like. It's alright. It's like Half-Light. Just, you know what? Yeah, that's fair. Because Half-Light gets good. Madeir starts off good, and then fades into his decent theme. Deacons of the Deep... It was okay. It wasn't horrible. The Phase 1, oh yeah, the Phase 1 would have been a D tier, but the Phase 2 kind of brings it up a little bit. Because the Phase 2 is actually... It sounds pretty active. It's like uh, the other guy. Like if it was on a better boss, it'd probably be, you know, more remembered. Demon Prince. I think before I gave it a C. I don't know if I want to give it a C anymore though. Like, it's kind of forgettable to be honest. Like it's, when I think a dark, like it's better than these two. But I don't. When I think of Dark Souls, I'm not, I, I never remember their theme at all. I guess that's not fair because it's the same with the Deacons. But like you know, 
In phase one, I don't remember the theme at all. In phase two, I can remember one part. So, I mean, uh, okay. That's about right. Dragon Slayer? Last time I think I put him in B? I think I might give him an A. Because Dragon Slayer's theme is actually kind of epic, too. And then he hits phase two, and it's, you know, it's, it stays that same level. Yeah, I think A tier is fair. Lothric and Lorien. Now listen. Lothric and Lorien have what I would say is the best base boss theme in the whole game. Because it starts off and it's like, oh, look at this. Because it, it has that... It has a, a feeling of, oh, I'm fighting two kings right now. And it has that feeling of... It has that feeling of, you know, this is a boss fight and it's intense. And then you get to phase two and it's like the same theme, just it's up a little bit. It, it's just good. It's just good and they have two. That's why he's up with Gale, because he has two good themes. Two separate entity bangers. I wouldn't put their theme over but Gale, so that's too. the appropriate uh, way they should be set, but yeah. Osiris, um... Osiris? Uh, Osiris is... Uh, his, his first phase is not memorable, but his second phase is, is pretty good. Uh, old Demon King D. I think before I gave him a high D, because it was actually like, it was, I don't know. Okay, Aldrich, Aldrich, Aldrich is really about to make me make an F tier. <laughs> Aldrich's theme was actually not that good. Um, I said this in the base video before it got cut, but um, it's like. I wouldn't say any of these themes are bad, like none of these are like, oh my ears hurt, oh I'm, I'm bleeding, it's, they're not, they're not that bad, you know, it's just, Aldrich has the least enjoyable theme to me. He also doesn't have a phase two, so it's like, he don't really have much going on. Or at least his phase two doesn't hit like that, correction. Um, Potniff? Potniff got a B. Because Potniff's theme... First theme, eh. Second, uh, second phase, uh, yeah. His his second phase hits like, oh yeah, this is a boss. Cause it's like, with the lore, it's like he's a scumbag, but he has like this semi regal effect on his first theme. You hit his second theme, and it's like, oh, this is this is a guy. This is a threat. This is a threat that's happening right now. And his second phase is really intense, so the the theme matches the actions that he's doing. So it's like, you know. I'd give him a solid B. Sister Freed? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? This isn't what the original list looked like. They weren't in this position. But, you know, yeah. Because Sister Freed, she has her first theme where it's like, oh, it's just this... It's this cold world with this cold nun. It doesn't hype up the... The, the um... It's not like boss music. Like, it's not like, oh, I'm being rushed down. But it matches the way she moves, it matches her cold aesthetic, and it matches the cold aesthetic of the world, which is really cool. Then her father comes out, and then you're like, oh, oh shit, the music picked up. Also, this fight is really annoying and hard. <laughs> and then you hit the third phase, and she has three different themes, and all of them are pretty good, but they don't hit, like, I wouldn't say they hit, like, Half-Life. Half-Life's theme is pretty, is, like, really good. Freed's theme, when I hear it in the moment, I'm like, oh, this is this is cool. But it's not up there with Half Light and uh Medir for me. It doesn't it doesn't hit the same. It doesn't hit the same spot. Oh my god, I'm speeding through this tier list. Could you believe this took me 50 minutes the first time? Because I had to listen to them. Solar Cinder. This is someone's gonna get on my ass for this. Um I feel- I want to put him at A. Because, it, like, the Soul of Cinder has a lot going on. Because the first phase, it's like, oh, this is a boss. Then you hit the second phase, and it's like, okay, he's hitting me with the Dark Souls 1 theme. The he's hitting me with the that, right? So it's like, ah, oh, damn, I'm, I'm getting my memories back, you know? And it's a hard fight, so you're kind of feeling it, too. 
but it's not Badir's. It's not Badir's, and it's not. It's definitely not Gales. It's definitely not Gales or Lauren's. Stop it. If you think that, you're wrong. It's not. <laughs> it's not that level. It's not that level. But I think it's okay. Do I want to really leave it over Freed's? It's not over. You know. I would say it's over Dragon Slayers and Gun Deers because I can remember Soul Ascenders off. The yeah, I didn't mean to. I didn't. I didn't mean to do this. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. I think that's fair. Cause now when I'm thinking about it, I can remember Freed's theme. I remember the feel of it, but I can't remember a part of it. I can remember the Soul Ascenders. You know, I I can remember that. That is in my memory now. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh. Vort. <laughs> oh. Someone's gonna be really offended because he's like the first boss, but. Vort's theme isn't that bad. Uh, his first phase? Yeah, his, his first phase is any Souls boss. His second phase is actually pretty good because it picks up and it's like, oh man, this is kind of dramatic and crazy. Uh. I think that's all I have to say on him, to be honest. He, he doesn't have that much happening in him. Uh, Wolnir. If I remember right, Wolnir got hoed. If his theme was on a better boss, I think it would have went better. Because it, it fits the whole, oh, it's a big scary guy, a big scary skeleton in a, in a cave, you know? It fits that, but the fight is so easy. You could, There's a chance you can kill him before you can hear it. Like, he's... The boss fight messes his theme up. Like, it. I kind of want to put him in C just for the boss fight, even though I know it's not based off of difficulty. It's based off of, like, you know. When you're fighting the Abyss Watchers, it's like, okay, I'm, this is active. When you're fighting Vort for the first time, you're like, okay, this, this nigga's running at me now. Potniv, he's always swinging at you. Nameless King, he's active. He can kill you in, like, two hits. Wolnir doesn't have any of that going. <laughs> he's an easy boss his theme does not even slap the same I can't, yeah I don't know if you're on this level but I don't know I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I think you're over the curse rot with but you know uh Yorm I don't even remember Yorm's it, it was alright it sounded like souls music but it wasn't it didn't sound like unique Souls music, you feel me? Like, that theme could have been on literally anyone. And it would have been like, oh, okay. I think it gives, it doesn't even, like, Wolnir's theme is like, oh, this is, this is like a giant, you know? I think Yorm's theme was, like, slow. You know, because he's slow and he's big and he, you know, does the big hits. But it's the same thing Wolnir has where it's like, you can kill him before you hear it. <laughs> Like phase two, I don't I don't think I knew what phase two even sounded like before yesterday. Cause he usually just dies. <laughs> um But overall I think this theme was pretty it was average. There was nothing super special about it. I wouldn't be able to point it out if you made me listen to all these songs in order. And that's all the bosses. Let me look over this again, right? Let me look over this. Gale, Lot, and Lorian. Alright. The Deer Half Light. Solar Cinder, Freed, Slayer Armor, Gundeer. <sighs> I don't know, because I'm looking at Gundeer now and I'm like, his theme was. It's something about him being the first boss and his theme actually being, like, pretty decent for what it is. His theme is. It... it's the first boss and it has that intimidating feel on it like that intimidating kind of final boss kind of feel to it but then it's Gundir but the, the, the other thing that's really holding it up is that it's champion Gundir and when you're fighting champion Gundir and he's getting active on you it's like oh fuck and Edix Gundir is the same thing just you know a little weaker because he's the first boss and a little easier but over the Crystal Sage, I don't know. Because the Crystal Sage's theme is just actually pretty good. It's based off of music, but I kind of want to do this. 
I don't know. Because with the first gun deer, it's like... It's like the, the, the bull deer, like you can kind of fuck them up before you get to fully hear it. <laughs> and like, he, he is kind of active, but Champion Gun Deer is more active. So you'll just kind of be passively absorbing his theme, and it's like, oh, this music fits, you know what I'm saying? Uh... Damn, I'm sorry, man. I don't know, I'm really thinking about it. The Nameless King Phase 2 is kind of keeping him afloat. I feel like everyone in B tier, their Phase 2 is the only reason they're up here. <laughs> like, Half Light's Phase 2 is really what puts him at S tier, because his sounds like awesome. Their Phase, their phase 2 is, makes it okay. Like, it makes it like, oh, this is kind of cool, you know? Uh, C tier, yeah, all of them are, like, forgettable. And D tier is, I don't think anyone remembers their themes. So yeah, I think this is a fair tier list. Um, I want y'all to know this is all based off of my opinion. I'm sure someone has the Solar Cinder at S tier and half light at fucking D, because <laughs> the way the fight goes or something, but... They probably have Gun Deer lower. I'm looking at Gun Deer. The more I think about this video, the more likely Gun Deer <laughs> might just drop. Because I have to look at who he's with, like... Them some big shoes to fill. That's it. Fuck it. He's going down to V. He's going down to V. He's going down to V. He's going under all of them. He's going right next to other gun tier. B tier. It's okay. It's a strong start to the game. I still agree with what I said. But in comparison to Freed, Soul Ascender, and the Dragon Slayer, I don't think he's up there. I don't think he's up there. Do I want to slide the Abyss Watchers up to him? The Abyss Watchers' theme is kind of forgettable, too, but I don't want to, you know... Yeah. Like I was saying, before I rudely was interrupted by myself. This is my tier list. This is... This will probably change due to who you ask. Like, if you probably did an emotional tier list, emotional music tier list, it probably would look different than this. But... For absolute bangers? For Dark Souls 3? I feel like this is the proper order. So, yeah. Love y'all. Hope to see y'all next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and bye.